Where can you make more money in the same amount of time, working listings or buyers? Buyers. Listings. There's no question listings. There was a study done by NAR many years ago, and here's what it said. So the average real estate agent spends approximately 24 hours from start to finish with a buyer and only eight hours from start to finish with a seller. That's one third of the amount of time, and if we're good negotiators, if we're really skilled, we also make the same amount of what? Money. Interesting, isn't it? So let's look at some of the advantages of working the listing side, because it is a listing program we deal. Number one, when you have a listing, would you all agree the rest of the realtors are working for you? Yes. yes. Think about this. Let's say that you want to get in the shoe business. Not the real estate business, but the shoe business. What would you do? Would you take people out that need shoes and go store to store to store? Or would you maybe start up your own shoe shop? What do you think you'd do? You'd start up your own shoe shop, right? Because you'd want to control the what? The inventory. You want to control the inventory because then you get everybody working for you. So when you have a listing, you have the rest of the membership working for you? 100%. When you have a buyer, you're working for the listing agents, aren't you? And that's just the way it is. So there's a great advantage to working with listings. What about this one? When you have listings, you have more leads. Sign calls, ad calls, internet calls, right? Also, when you have listings, you also get brand recognition, don't you? People see your name. For Century 20 when leading edge, is it better for them to have more listings? Yes. Because it gives brand recognition. There's five, you also make more money per hour if you're working listings. So you can actually get paid more if you start working listings. So somebody says, I want to double my income and all of my business is coming from buyers, what's the very first thing we got to start to do? We got to somehow start transforming that business to more listings. You can't just turn it upside down. But we got to say, can we get it to 30% listing and 70% buyers? The next year, 50-50, and maybe the year after that, 70% buyers and 30% or 70% listings and 30% buyers. You got to start to change it around because you make more money working listings. You also have better control of your time. In other words, you can be sitting home having dinner and somebody is actually showing your listing. How good is that? Right? You're working with a buyer. It's a straight exchange of time for money. Think about this. When you're working listings. It's not an exchange of time for money, it's an exchange of value for money, isn't it? You're gonna provide a result for money. Buyers, time for money, because you gotta do all of the work. You do it all of yourself. And then of course, the last one, you have the exclusive right to a commission. In other words, you have a signed listing agreement. Most of you probably don't have signed buyer's agreements, should, but most people aren't doing it right now. Which means if you don't have a signed buyer agreement, that means that buyer technically could go to an open house and buy a house off somebody else. And that happens all the time.